Good morning, freediving family. We are in Phuket in Thailand, and today we're gonna go dive an amazing freshwater lake. I forget the name, I will put the name in later, la di da. Aaron and I have actually been here. Oh, hello, Aaron. Look at mum of the year over here. Oh my goodness. How was your swim, Ellie? How was your swim? We've actually been here already for like a week and we haven't filmed a thing or done any work because we've just been having such a good time. But it's probably that time that we uh, went and did some vlogging, so let's go. We are staying in a resort called Boat Lagoon. It's also where we're running Deep Week from. All right, now you can see over here, our Deep Week event management team is hard at work and is the reason that I get to go and have uh, some fun today. Julie has arrived. And uh, we're about to head to Tartang Lake. Yay. Now, uh, I don't know if you know Julie, but if, if you have ever emailed us about Deep Week or courses or whatever, you will have spoken to Julie. Julie uh, is the manager of Freediving Family. She gets everything done. So once again, I can go and have fun. So uh, we pulled over because I don't think the drivers know where we're going. <laughs> <laughs> They've just stopped and asked for directions and I think we'll get there now. We're in the area. They're just not quite sure where this, this lake is. <laughs> we know where we're going? Yeah. <laughs> How was your ride? It's so good. <laughs> this is Tatang Lake. <laughs> um, it looks really cool. I lost the pump for my big camera, so I've got to suck the air out to like pressurize it. <laughs> I'm ready, I'm rash guarded, and it's time to go. Oh, I've got my fence. <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> oh, it's very warm. No, yeah, you you are dressed appropriately. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> So like most lakes, the floor was silty and covered in algae. Standard. But then as I was swimming along, something pretty random just popped out of the distance. So we found this very cool little tree here sticking up out of the water, and it's a full tree underwater. <laughs> Let's go, I'll go show you right now. Adam is doing some social media with Liberty. They are using the tree here at the lake to get some cool footage. By the way, I did a white balance on my camera just now, so the footage is not so green. There's just like so many cool trees and stuff underwater. I'm like, I'm, I'm actually thinking like, how the hell did these trees get here? Were they placed here or did this place flood from something? But anyway, there's lots of really cool trees underwater and we've been doing some social media-ing on them, making Instagram reels and the such. And now we're gonna just go and like actually explore. <laughs> then we found all these posts or, or poles just sticking up out of the ground. And we were just like, what is this place? Alright everybody, stop watching the video, stop, just pause the video. What do you think this place is? Comment your answer down below, just write whatever you think it is, and then keep watching the video to see if you were right. We were literally about to get out of the lake right now, and then I just got a call from Mikey, a friend of ours, um, and he's like, hey Adam, and I was like, oh Mikey, um, so let's go over and see what they're up to. <laughs>
So yeah, so this was um, at one time oh, wait, an old quarry. Uh, I'm not sure what what they were mining here, but you can see like all throughout there's like there's little structures that are still um, left underwater from when the quarry was 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 here at one time, and it just flooded with uh, the rainwater or the natural water table just kind of just 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 took over. But the visibility is pretty nice. Um, it's a little milky, but. Who doesn't work I love it. Hello, one second. Like this being an old quarry, you can imagine that anywhere you see sticks and bits and bobs poking up out of the water, there's probably going to be something interesting down below. So we're just going to go and look for the sticks that poke up out of the water, and look for the old quarry buildings, and hopefully we won't swim into a pile of lead. I like that. So when there's sticks poking, there's something interesting below. <laughs> <laughs> sticks and milk. <laughs> In the very center of the lake was an island. Before getting out of the water, we had to go and swim over there and see what was going on. Not an island, <laughs> it's a big <laughs> tree. <laughs> Well, that was bloody wonderful. A little bit wacky, and a little bit different, a little bit weird. Let's go get something to eat now. So hungry. <laughs> All right, it's been a lazy afternoon since getting back from the lake, but uh, now we're gonna uh, head out to the night market in uh, old, old Phuket town. Anyway, so all the gang's going, it's gonna be a good time. And uh, who doesn't love a night market? <laughs> Here we have Adam on dad duty wearing it so loud, so proud. All right, we made it. We're at the market. Ellie fell asleep in the car, which is a disaster. Now I have to carry her everywhere. Hello. Hello. So Colin, how was your busy day at work while we were having fun in the lake? Oh, it was fantastic. Oh my God. It's been years since I had durian. So apparently this is like the place to be, this dumpling shop. Um, we're gonna get those dumplings. Okay, it's very hot and there's lots of children who are not happy and Erin and I have to bow out of the night market. We just can't keep going. So I'm gonna give the camera to Colin and Julieta and they're gonna film some stuff and you'll see what it's like. It's really cool here. I didn't, I barely filmed. So I wanna show you what it's like. There you go. Smoking a oh, Colin, tell me, what's the thing you like the most about Adam, and what is the thing you like the least? Uh, the most thing, the thing I like the most about Adam is his laugh, and the thing I like least about Adam is how irregularly he replies to my messages. <laughs> I would have to say, Adam, the thing I like the most about you are your surprises, and the thing I like the least are your surprises. <laughs> Oh, hi freediving family. <laughs> I didn't see you there. Today, we're going on a beautiful boat trip to a magical island called Koha. Apparently, it is one of the best caves to dive in in Southeast Asia. So we're pretty bloody pumped, as you can well imagine. And uh, yeah, let's go do this. Welcome to Koha. Koha is the biggest ass cave here. What do I do? 27. <laughs> that's, that's the official term. The biggest ass cave here, according to Sunny. Well, we have arrived to Koha. Uh, Koha meaning five islands, and uh, it's a pretty epic spot. Uh, we're gonna start swimming around, and we're gonna go and find that really big cave. That's the priority. Uh, the water here, because we're still in like the gulf, in like the bay, the water here is fairly green. It'll be clear, but there'll be a green tone, textury thing to it. That blue water is when, when we head out of the gulf. Um, yeah, pumped! Yeah, that's it. Alright, away we go. Thanks, boy. Hey, we will 
below these like dramatic landscapes and uh, apparently the view inside the cave is like a lot clearer than outside the cave no idea why that would be but that's what I've been told so let's go do it the only problem with diving the cave was that we had no idea where it was <laughs> Tony our friend who had dove the cave before got sick in the morning and so he couldn't come and we were on our own I'm gonna love you till the end of time Because a love like ours is hard to find How cool is that, Ada? Very, very cool, very cool Then we spotted some scuba divers and we followed them to the cave We found it! <laughs> and all we had to do was follow the scuba divers, eh? <laughs> It looks really cool. It looks, um, it looks dark inside. So we'll go in there really slow, take our time, feel it out. Exciting. Inside this cave was a huge open cavern with a big pocket of air at the top. You could go and swim into it and breathe inside. Tony, our sick friend, was also meant to bring some torches. So uh, we were on our own there too. <laughs> But he did tell us that if you swim into the cave really slowly and let your eyes adjust, you'll be able to see where the air pocket is and you can swim up into it. But um, my eyes were not adjusting. And I really don't love swimming blindly in the caves, so we decided to just play around at the entrance. Because a love like ours is hard to find. Right now, Adam is taking photos of Maria Noela, our wave 4 instructor. It's a hot cave and we will check out later how those photos went. Then out of nowhere, the wind just picked up and it picked up strong. And then the current picked up and it picked up strong too. It was absolutely wild. It was all pumping. Have you ever just felt like a wind come on so suddenly and be so strong? That was intense. Very cool. Sunny, are you alive? Hey, I'm not. <laughs> well, you didn't tell us there was going to be a monsoon today. This is a monsoon. This is like adventure. <laughs> That's a good bullet there. <laughs> this is a Thai um, remedy for seasickness. Yeah, it's like skipping tiger bomb. But, I mean, Liberty's not vomiting anymore, so it must work. It works! The storm has mostly passed. Now we've caught up on this island here. So, I'll get out of the wind. We're just going to go for a little swim, see what it's like, and then, uh, Spent two hours driving back in the rough sea. Yay! Hot overhead, and I guess love to watch the way you made me into a mess. Hands on my dress, neon red. You were everything I didn't need until you left Now I'm dancing around my living room I get drunk on the thought of you and I When you were mine See your eyes in every stranger I replay the way that we were till I'm high No, it's not right Heart overhead And I guess I love to watch the way you made me into a mess I miss you, miss and be like you used to, yeah, like you used to I miss you, kiss And now all the faffing around and fun diving comes to an end because in a few days, Deep Week Thailand, the very first Deep Week Thailand begins. 
and it is going to be amazing. I'll put the video up next week. Make sure you watch it. It was such a good time. You'll see what goes into putting 163 freedivers in the water all at once in a brand new location that you have never been to before. Oh, good times.